I've been asked a lot of times, like over and over, why are you so passionate about this? And why are you finding this so interesting? And I mean, it's, I'm not doing this because it's like a special interest or because it's interest, more interesting than other subjects. It's because this is an actual crisis and people are being threatened. People are being killed by it today and it's not just something we can look away from anymore and I mean instead of asking that why why aren't why aren't you so passionate about this? Why aren't you finding this so interesting? And why aren't you spending all your waking hours trying to to fight for, for a livable future for everyone? I think that uh, the term climate activist is something that's almost an oxymoron now. A climate activist should be a normal person at the stage that we're at in this crisis. When people feel like they are personally um, threatened, when people have been personally affected by a cause is when they truly start to care about it. And we are denying ourselves our responsibility and our obligation and spirituality when we, um, when we are not looking at the earth and the people around us as our relatives. Because who are we if we are not related to the earth? There, we would not be here if it wasn't for the services that Mother Nature has already provided all of us. It is so incredibly important that we, that we listen to indigenous peoples because they have been living in balance with nature for so long. And as you said, if we are looking for solutions, we need to in those solutions include indigenous people and listen to them and knowledge they have, you have, it's, it's just something we have to do.